So let's take an example of implementing a uh, service, a singleton. Uh, so here we're going to create a directory. And so all services are going to live under the same directory. We'll call it services. And, and uh, they'll have the responsibility, any file in here presumably will have the responsibility of manipulating the data. Right? It'll, be, it'll be encapsulated into a set of files and classes that we're going to put in this directory. So let's create a JavaScript file and we'll call this the course service JavaScript. Right? Uh, in here, we're going to have just a plain old uh, JavaScript uh, class. So this will be export uh, default uh, course service service right. and uh, and then what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to declare it right. we're going to declare a static uh, class a static instance so static uh, my instance uh, initially is going to be null and what we're going to do is that we're going to check to see uh, in a get instance we're going to say static uh, get instance uh, as a as a just a, as a pure function, and we're going to check to see if the if my instance is null. So if the static version instance of my instance is null, then I'm going to instantiate it. I'll say um, you know course uh, course service dot my instance equal new uh, course service, right? Uh, otherwise, if it's uh, already there, we're just going to return it. We can say return this dot my instance, my instance. Okay. Uh, in here, we're going to have the data for the course, which we already have some data, don't didn't we? We created perhaps in the course list, we had created a couple of courses. So let's grab some of these courses. I'm just going to copy it, right? And I'm just going to paste it in the. I'm going to paste it in the um, uh, in here. I was going to paste that, and there's my courses. All right. So in here we have functions such as uh, find find all courses. If I could spell courses, and we're just going to return this dot courses. Uh, if we want to create a new course, create course. Uh, presumably, we would provide a course object, and we would instantiate this. We, we, I'm sorry, we would push it. This courses dot push uh, courses, something like that. Right. And you would also implement all the other ones, right? We would implement uh, find course by ID, which uh, receives a course ID. Right. Presumably, this would be something like uh, this courses dot uh, find, I guess find. Uh, so here's course, and you would um, you would return the uh, if the if the course dot id is equal to the course id. Okay. Uh, oh, this will be push course. Sorry, course right there. Uh, what else? Um, uh, you could have a uh, delete course. And presumably, the, 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 you would be passed in the, the value of the course of the, that you want to remove. So basically, you would have to what? A filter right? or, or uh, remove the course that uh, you don't want. Uh, so something like uh, you could, one way of doing it would be that courses is equal to this courses map. Right? So iterate over, over, over the map uh, and, um, and skip over the ones where the course ID matches the course ID that you want to remove. Uh, or you can use fil uh, you can say filter too. You can say filter, 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 a course, and you would want to skip over the course, uh, the ID that does not match the course ID, something like that, right? And what else do you have? There's a update course. You would pass in the course ID of the course you want to update plus the new version of the course. And I'll leave that up to you. All right, all right, something like that, all right? Play around with that. Uh, so to use this, now what you would do is that in the course list, let's see the course list, course list, where are you? 
course list right now, we, instead of using this, uh, this, this hard-coded list of courses, uh, let's see where we are so far. Let, let's, uh, if we look at the uh, uh, um, UI, uh, where is it? Here you are. Right now, it's listing these courses over here. And it's using this um, this array of courses. So instead of using this array of courses, what we do is we're going to import that single term. We're going to say import a course a service from uh, let's go up one down to services down to uh, course service. Uh, let's instantiate the course service um, capital C, and we're going to do uh, let uh, the course service instance be a course service course service dot get instance uh, and then we can use the course service to replace this array if i kill that we don't have a course it's empty so let me put an empty array see if that um uh, can notice that indeed it's working right I, I i emptied it it's the empty array i'm going to replace it with the course service find all courses courses dot find all courses find uh, all courses and it still works, right? Uh, so the only thing we've done right, is that we've uh, moved all the uh, all the concerns, right? And basically, is the the application of a division of concern, the principle of division of concern, right? Uh, where we we moved everything that has to do with the manipulation uh, of the data into a service in here, right? Anything that has to do about retrieving, updating, uh, deleting, whatnot is all in here. Eventually, this will, will be, we're going to replace this with fetch, right? This is going to go out to a server and fetch everything from the server. So we'll have to come back and, and refactor this a little later, yes? Right? Uh, so don't get too comfortable with, uh, with this implementation. Uh, but nevertheless, it, uh, it, it introduces the principle right, of, uh, of division of concern. Make sense? Everybody good? All right, awesome.